Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul video, of course, of beauty products. I have, I mean, everything from Essie Lauder, MAC, Clinique, Marc Jacobs, Charlotte Tilbury. I have stuff from Ulta from the 21 Days of Beauty sale. I have so much, Laura Mercier. I have so much stuff. So let's just jump right into it. Um, in no particular order, I guess. I'm just, well, I guess I'll start with the stuff that I got from work. So the first two things are things I got from gratis and um, Bosha came in and did some training with us. So they gave us the luminizing black mask, which I've heard such amazing things about. And I love that they put an the expiration date on the box um so i love this i did try a little sample of it i maybe use this like five to eight times and i love it um i've used it all over the face because you can it has a lot of uh, skincare benefits but i kind of just use it around my nose and like my pore area i'm not a big person that loves peel off mask i just don't but this i love so i just like to just do it in a small area it's easier to peel off and i do a little bit thicker so it, it a little is easier to get a lift up and then I peel off and I love it. Love, love. I think I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, and then they gave us the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. And this is a physical and chemical exfoliate. Exfoliating, exfoliate? Am I saying that right? I don't know. Anyway, so it's a physical and chemical. Um, so awesome. Like I'm so excited, but it feels gentle. When I tried it on um, my hand at work, it, it just felt so gentle. And I am like really excited to try that out. All right, so then I purchased two things from Estee Lauder because I was just having issues with my makeup not lasting all day because I was just sweating because it was just so hot at work the last couple months. So I picked up the Estee Lauder Mattifier Primer. I can't say that this helped 100% with the problem that I was having with my makeup just like melting off my face. I'm not even kidding you. It was literally melting off. Um, and then I got the Double Wear and I've had this before like I don't even know five, six, seven years ago. So I finally repurchased another bottle. I've always wanted to repurchase another bottle. Um, I have to get a pump for that. But um, I do love it. I just, I can't say that it also helped with my perspire, when I would perspire. It wouldn't help with that 100%. Because, and what I learned was, is that you cannot touch your face at all. Even if you want to use a tissue or a blotter. Because what would happen is the makeup would just come off with it. And I'm like, so yeah but i've learned don't touch your face but this has helped a lot a lot a lot um even the um even better refresh from clinique that helped a lot as well i was just kind of like in a panic because i just didn't know what to do and i was just trying to find something that was going to help a hundred percent and unfortunately i didn't find that however i realized what really really helped me was the mac mineralized skin finish in light and i've learned that for whatever reason, it's not on the Macy's website and in store, we're not carrying it. So I don't know what's going on. It is on the Ulta website and I am very close to buying like a hundred of them because this is the best. This what's really helps my makeup last all day long. Like this was the key because what happened was I used it up and started to have this problem with my makeup melting off. And I'm like, I wasn't having this problem. A couple of weeks ago, I, you know, everyone was complimenting me on my skin and my makeup and everyone was loving it because it was so flawless. And this was the key. And what I did was I would use a dry beauty blender and rub it in and stamp it on my skin. And it was the bomb love so that's the key so i really need to get some more or stock up on more of those um then i ordered a bunch of stuff from la mercier um well on our website for from la mercier i stocked up on the translucent loose setting powder i already have one open i love this stuff it's like every day for me love 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 then i picked up the la mercier baked blush bronze this is in i believe ritual is it ritual yeah ritual um and stacy oh gosh it's a little dusty in here stacy would always talk about this and it's just so pretty so 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 pretty so i love this and i can't tell you i've been wearing this so much the last couple months and i've gotten so many compliments on this i love it i just use it as a blush and it is like perfection perfection this summer that's going to be my go-to like for literally every single day because it's so pretty then for purchasing them, I got like a little gift with purchase. I got the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Amethyst that Megan is Megan uh, Makeup 8 is always talking about these and I never purchased one so I'm happy to try it. And then I got a translucent press setting powder. So I'm really excited for that little guy. 
Then I got um, the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. I haven't even opened this yet to even test it out. Hopefully it is good. I save all my receipts, so that way just in case if it doesn't work out, it does go back. So super excited, so pretty. I think this might've been limited edition, but I'm not sure. Um, and they had two other colors, but they were gonna be too dark for my skin. Um, and then I got the MAC Bling Thing Liquid Lip Top Coat. This is called Love in a Bubble, and this is so pretty. Oh, I love that top. It's just like the Anastasia one. They're all like copying each other. Just such a pretty, pretty shade. It's like a, just a metallic, and it's very lightweight. It it's not, doesn't feel chunky on the lips or anything. It's so nice, and this like sold out so fast at my store. The next thing I got is the NARS Turkish Delight. I'm so excited because I... This is like, I wanna do a video on YouTube OG beauty products because this is one of them, Turkish Delight. And I have to say, this doesn't have a scent. I didn't smell anything when I was putting it on. I have this on right now and I am in love. I'm not a gloss person whatsoever, but I might have to buy more NARS glosses because I love this formula and I'm loving this color. So this is probably gonna be like in my handbag, work bag and wearing it all summer long, but love, 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 love. Um, ordered a, a few things from Clinique. I ordered two of the Clinique My Happy Lily of the Beach. If you love Bobbi Brown's Beach Perfume, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, if you, um, Physicians Form Formula Butter Bronzer, if you love those types of summery scents, you're gonna love Lily of the Beach. So I love this scent so much that I bought two. It's a two point, it's a 0. 0.5 fluid ounce and it is a parfum, so it's not a towelette. So it's, you know, gonna stay on all day. It is so good. It smells so good. And I love the bottle. Um, it's not plastic, just so you know, in case if you're thinking that. But I love the bottle because it you can keep in your purse, your beach bag, just on the go travel, and you're not clunking around this big, um, you know, perfume bottle. So I love that. It makes great gifts, and they have um, other scents, and you can mix and match with them. Then last thing I got from work is the Clinique uh, Cheek Pop on the Glow Trio Palette. This is awesome because you get... Um, three in here f just for one of the for one blush is $24 you get three full-size products in here for $32.50 you get pearl pop which we only sell in a cream form you get ginger pop which we always sell and then you get the sun kiss which we sell in a separate formula but this formula is like that gel a and it is gorgeous so for $32.50 is a great buy this is definitely going to be a staple in my makeup bag for the summertime love 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 Okay, so for Sephora's 15% off, I purchased the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in Spice Cinnamon. This is where one side is matte and the other side is a shimmer. They call it a shimmer, yeah. And the packaging is gorgeous. Feels like NARS a little bit. Um, but I have to say, I'm not crazy about the color. I think I honestly have like many things very similar. I kind of gravitate towards this type of color when it comes to blush. But I'm not crazy about how it looked and how it like blended out. I'm just, I don't know. I think I just need to try it a couple more times. I think I tried it maybe twice. And I was kind of like, meh. Um, so this might be going back. I then picked up the uh, First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. I haven't used this at all. I haven't even tested it out to see if it's my shade. Um, this is, I believe, the lightest shade. This is in Bone One. So I don't know. Now I'm looking at it. It's looking a little yellow. We'll have to see about that. So, oh gosh, that's gonna stink because I really wanna try that out. Then I got the um, Dr. Jart Focus Spot Dark Spot Micro Tip Patch with Vitamin C. This has hyaluronic acid. I actually bought these for a friend as well that she was thinking of um, trying these out. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'll order them for you. Anyway, so I'm really excited. I'm thinking I'm gonna start trying to use these tonight. You only get six in here. It's normally $18 regular price. So it's not like a super high, high thing but you only get six patches, so. But I'm really excited to see this because I'm starting to see more spots coming up on my skin and I'm like, what, what, what? I take so good care of my skin, so I'm really in shock. I ordered the um, Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. I'm so, this is called Worth the Weight in number 80. I'm assuming it's limited edition, super big packaging. Oh my God, you get 10 grams, which is like a size you would get for a face powder normally. That's what it looks like. 
super pretty i haven't even touched this yet oh my god oh my god and then i ordered two of the charlotte tilbury's matte revolution i love this formula i have it in pillow talk and honestly i'm almost finished i should have bought it back up during the sale but i think i'll just wait until the fall when they have the sale again um so the first color i got is in bond girl and i have to say this packaging is gorge and this is bond girl oh my so gorgeous i haven't even swatched these yet and like to look at how much you get into wearing them in pillow talk i wish i had it up here with me but oh my gosh it's insane how much i've used it. and i'm not someone who uses up lipsticks i just don't i wish i could but i just buy so many i love buying lipstick it's like one of my favorite things and then this is called very victoria Oh my god, so pretty, so so pretty. Um, I was going to get the Charlotte Tilbury um like glow luminizer palette with the four shades in light, and I don't know, it was like $75, so I'm like, mm. but now I kind of wish I did, but you know what? I don't need it, I really don't need it. And then I redeemed a hundred points for NARS's orgasm blush, and I'm so happy I did. And you get 3.5 grams, which is like the normal size for a drugstore blush. So I'm like, hey, why not? So it's so itty bitty. It's so cute. I just wish the packaging was just a little bit bigger for your uh, brush. But oh my gosh, again, the OG product on YouTube that everyone would rant and rave about. I think I really need to do that video because I just don't have everything. But I still want to talk about like each of those items. But anyway, probably someone will steal my idea now. So anyway, really happy about that. All right, so now for Ulta. This stuff is like still in boxes. So um, during the 21 Days of Beauty, of course I have other sales along with it. I ordered two of these. Uh, I hope I didn't already talk about this. Oh my God, I hope not. Um, we'll talk about it anyway. <laughs> so anyway, these are buy one get one half off. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite hand cream. I don't even know how you say this brand. I say Dion, Dionis, Dionis, D-I-O-N-I-S. These are buy one get one half off and this is in their like jumbo size tubes for their hand cream because they come in like a one ounce these are a two ounce and i'm so excited because these are my the three favorite scents so the fact that they came in a gift set i was like yes buy one get one half off and then i use that 350 off coupon so i'm like yeah favorite favorite hand cream and i can't believe it my my like favorite 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 one is the roseberry in the red here oh my god so so good. When I worked at Ulta and discovered that brand, I was like in love. Um, this was part of like a hot buy for like $11 or something. This is the Skin Iceland facelift in a bag. I bought two of them. I probably didn't need to. I don't know. I don't know if I need this or not. I need to look at what I already have. Um, I think I do have some Skin Iceland stuff, but maybe I might return it. I don't know. I might just keep it though. Who knows? All right, I did buy two of these. I'm already, I already have one open. It's the Essence Brighten Up. I used one up and I ordered two because they were buying one and half off. They're $4.99, you know, like you can't beat it. I purchased the Invisi Bobby in the clear because I really wanted it. So I tend to just buy things, you know, that I want. Um, then I got some MAC stuff. Um, oh, let me talk about this first. I got the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. This is in Fair to Light. I have the second one, so I think it's like the medium. And I've always wanted the Fair to Light because now with my lightest bronzer that I love, I'm literally going to be finishing it soon. So I was like, oh, this is 50% off. Might as well. And it's so pretty. It's like the perfect light bronze. It's not orange. It's like beautiful. So if you're fair and you need a bronzer, get the... This is Fair to Light from Bare Minerals. And it's very similar to the Hourglass formula. Then I picked up some MAC stuff. I got their Painterly Paint Pots. I got one in Painterly, Soft Ochre, and Bear Study. And then they threw in a pair of free lashes with my purchase because I just needed a few more dollars. So then I wanted to try the MAC um, makeup wipes. And I've tried these at work and I love them. So I figured, you know what, let me just get a small size. So I have it. So anyways, that is everything I got from 21 Days of Beauty, I think. I don't even know. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. You know what? It is what it is. But anyway, guys, I will see you all later. Let me know what you guys have been buying and loving and shopping for or wishing for, what's on your wish list. Um, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.